Oh, the war pig. This thing is awesome. I'm Tyler. No, wait, take two. I don't want to be Tyler. There's too many Tylers. Hello, it's Blingwall again with Board Insiders at Timberline Lodge. It's snowing crazy out here. This interview is going to be real fun because I got to ride the War Pig. This thing is just a freak of nature by shape at SIA when we saw it. We were all just kind of taken a little bit back when we saw it. We go, what is that? I got to ride it in some POW, some groomers, some parks. And this is my favorite board I've ever had under my feet in my entire life. It's got an S camber or what I call a setback camber, either way you like to take it. It goes regular camber from the first bolt of the front insert to the back bolt of the last insert. Has a flat kick right here, a little bit of early rise, and then the whole front end is just early rise. It was just super fun, super floaty, especially for how short it is. Short, fat, and pointy is like one of the biggest trends in snowboarding this year. People are starting to understand, understand surface area in a whole new way, that what they're doing is bringing it back and paying homage to the surfers. So instead of having a board that is 175 centimeters for POW, all of a sudden you can have a 152 centimeter board that rides POW better than any big board you've ever been on in your life. And it's not a gimmick. I've tried at least seven different short, fat, and pointy boards, and I gotta tell you, they're onto something magical. It changes your ride and it changes your view on how you can ride down a mountain in what conditions too. All right, they make this in a small and a large, which is kind of interesting. They're not telling you exactly what the centimeters are, like bold face on the board. Um, this is the small, which we kind of figured out it was about a 152, I think. Don't quote me. I'm 6'4", 190 to 200 pound-ish range is what I am. This board's a little, it's kind of a little board for me, you know, you got the old school way of figuring out if a board's big enough for you right around your chin. This is not near my chin. <laughs> this is like nowhere near my chin. And on the ground, it's even, it may be nipple size. But the board for my size and being so small, this thing was fantastic. It charged, it popped, it rode pow, it did freestyle. I rode this board about four times. Um, I rode in variable conditions. The first time I was on it, it was no snow. It was groomers and the thing was stable and I was like carving and I was having a great time on it then. Um, I've since got to ride it a couple pow days and the thing flies through powder. It really reacts. This has a really playful edge to edge feeling. It loads up and releases with just a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of playfulness, borderline aggressiveness. <laughs> What I noticed with this sort, with the war pig in particular, is that it's torsionally soft. It was super easy engaging a turn. Um, trees were awesome. Uh, just threading the needle, you know, having a bunch of fun as far as that goes. But tip to tail, it's stiff. Um, it popped. It like I got over some trees, stuff that I wasn't expecting to, especially in powder. It was a lot of fun. In trees, this board, if you look at the super, it's a short radius side cut and it's super deep. So it goes from fat to skinny back to fat. It makes it so the edge to edge in the trees is just phenomenally, phenomenally fast. You can change your mind at the last minute, make a whole new line and not slow down for a second. You can change your mind at full speed, make an adjustment and just go with it. And it just handles, handles it like a dream. Um, the pop on this board, it's a medium stiffness when you go to flex it but the energy that comes back is like a stiff board. It's like you completely decambered a stiff board and it just wants to kapow. It literally explodes under your feet and it doesn't explode in any weird way. It actually is just, it's perfect energy distribution throughout the board. It's like, you're like, oh, this is playful, but then, you know, and it's just coming up under your feet, which is kind of an amazing feeling. And it's just enough. It doesn't get to the point where you're like, no, it's kicking out. Like it's really just doing everything you give to it, it gives back. There's, there's a wood in here that's really, really poppy and it feels good. Um, it's actually incredibly light. Uh, the Warpig weighs nothing. Like there's almost nothing here. 
And when you're, especially when it's under your feet, you start to feel like once you're in the air that it's gone, which it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, you can pretty much pop off anything anywhere and make something out of it. So this is kind of an all mountain slayer in that sense that when you're in the pow and you see that little lump, if you bust off, if you go to bust off it, this gives it back and you really get some air time with this board as if you were in the park. I rode this board in a competition this year. It was the Yo Beat Long Jump. I jumped 74 feet on a 152 and it was the most comfortable, literally it's the most comfortable board I've ever had off the lip of a jump. And there's something magical about it. It's super light and once you get into the air, it literally feels like you're floating with just your snowboard boots on. There's this freedom under feet that I've never felt in the air on a snowboard. And it, what that also does for you is it makes it super forgiving. If you do anything wrong, it's so light and so maneuverable that you can do these micro adjustments in the air. You know when you get in the air and you're rolling down the windows and you're sticking your feet out in weird ways trying to save yourself? This board you can save yourself from, from some crazy sticky situations and ride out of it like a boss. Your friends will think you invented a new trick and you just did it on accident. It carves really well. It carves aggressively. The edge lays in just smooth with this fat, this fat base, you know, like it really lays into a Euro carve without a lot of foot drag for most riders. The setback camber also makes it a really awesome, unique turning ride on the groomers. You can lay back and just surf it out. You literally feel like a surfer sitting in the back seat and just owning the mountain. And then when you really want to get aggressive, get back on your front foot and boom, you're just hard charging towards whatever the hell's in your way. They call it the war pig because it literally pulls out the, its battle axe and destroys whatever the hell you put in front of it. I got 11 and a half. My toe doesn't even crest the end of this. And it's a little bit fatter where your feet are too, allowing even more of that. People who should buy this board are park riders who want to ride more pow. Like they want to start crossing over into more all mountain feeling, but still have a lot of the aggressiveness that they feel on their park decks. This board is going to give it to them. It's going to empower them to go pop off crazy pow features. This is the past, the present, and the future of snowboarding. It is literally the truth. Yeah! Your pig is the truth! I would say anybody can ride it, but the people who are going to find their magic place on it is an aggressive rider. Somebody who has been riding pow and they're sick of that laid back, lethargic, float the pow feeling, having to sit on your back foot. This board, you can be front foot engaged no matter what element you're in. You can be in two feet of powder standing on your front foot and this board's not sinking. Even if it does sink, the nose is soft enough and turned up enough that even if it goes under the surface of the snow, you can porpoise right back out. You can just pop right back out and on top of it and just start charging again. I gave this board a shred cred of 100. This is the, my first 100 of this year and if the scale went any higher, I would take it to the top. This board is beyond good, it's beyond great, it's fucking amazing. I gave the War Pig a 96 because it was a lot of fun. It did everything I wanted it to, but there was a couple times that I looped out and I normally wouldn't have, but maybe it's because I was on the small. Maybe I need to step up to the large. I gave this a 99, which might be my highest score. I'm not sure. This board, I think is gonna change snowboarding a little bit. I think that this shape is a shape to be reckoned with in the industry right now. And <laughs> I can't wait to see more. Holy crap. What are you, like six years old? <laughs>